Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Uploading April's hauls that I got for the month. Um, not a lot of movies. Uh, I'm gonna upload now because I saw the movies coming out this week and there's nothing that I'm too excited for. Uh, so I don't think I'm gonna pick up anything else. So I thought I'd knock this out, or this video out now. And if I do happen to snag a movie um, with what's left of this month, then I'll just put it into next month's haul. Uh, I also got asked to do like, uh, in my Q&A, like the room that I keep my movies and, and why did I choose this wall as opposed to anywhere else. So I'll give you a quick overlook. You go out into the hallway here. When you first walk in, there's a desk for my partner. Um, there's my computer desk, uh, glass door that goes out to like a back patio area. Uh, this wall and then this place had a built-in wet bar. Um, so as you, and closet. So as you can tell, there's not much room to put these shelves. If I were to put it over here, it'd be blocking the windows and the heat vent. If I put it over here, there's this weird like indent thing that comes out so the shelves would have a big gap behind them. Um, so this is kind of the only wall to put these shelves for my movies. Um, what am I gonna do for after they're full? Uh, I don't know, you know, cause I can't fit another shelf in here. Um, so <laughs> well, I guess we'll, We'll address that problem when it comes up. Um, but anyways, that was just kind of act or ask a quick one. I don't really watch movies down here. The Xbox Series X can play 4K movies, and I just got a new uh, 4K monitor a couple months ago. That's the Samsung Odyssey G70A, I want to say. It's pretty pricey. I think it was like $700. Um, but it was on sale at Best Buy for $550, so I bought one. But I don't typically watch movies on that. It's upstairs. Um, but it would be kind of cool to make this into like you know, like a projector up there and then could have like a pull down screen. That'd be kind of cool. And I just got that chair. So we'll see. Uh, anyways, let's go back to the movies that I ended up uh, snagging for the month. Again, not very many. Um, ended up getting the 4K steelbook of Cool Hand Luke. Ended up getting the 4K steelbook of Flashdance. 4K steelbook of House of a Thousand Corpses. Um, and, ah, yes, these are some movies I ended up snagging. I ended up getting Missing, it's like the follow-up to, uh, Searching. I got, uh, James Dean, Rebel Without a Cause, 4K Steelbook, and then I've heard nothing but good things about this, it's been on my wish list for a while, is, uh, There Will Be Blood, uh, with Daniel Day-Lewis, so, ended up snagging those, again, not very many movies for this month, um, you know, but... It is what it is. Uh, my collection is currently sitting at, uh, through the app that I use, blu-rayapp.com. I want to say I'm sitting at 779 movies in total. And that's including like duplicates that I have of like Indiana Jones and then the Steel Book and stuff like that. So I will be coming up with an updated video of um, where I watch my movies. It's not the best like setup ever. It's just a TV upstairs, but the sunlight can kind of get to it. So I'm needing to buy a new TV, but... Anyways, those are the movies I got. If you guys end up getting the same, please comment below. If there's anything you're excited for that's coming out, uh, also comment down below. Thanks.